What's up? This is a video for all my friends who are producers or songwriters or artists. Uh, so I think we all encountered a corona problem uh, and for me that meant uh, that it wasn't a good idea to bring a lot of people over in the studio. But I think I found a way uh, to keep producing uh, and to keep creating music uh, with my friends, with people I work with uh, and everyone actually. So I thought I'd share it with you. So the biggest problem for me was um, because uh, we can all talk via Skype or Google Hangout. Uh, but I wanted to give people the feeling uh, that they are here in the room and they can watch on the screen and they can hear what's happening with the whole production and stuff like that. So this is what I needed. I needed to share my screen so that people can see what I am doing inside of Cubase. I needed a camera in the studio that's filming me or the studio or the things that I'm doing or someone's drumming down there then I can film that. So I needed a screen capture of the screen uh, and I needed to put myself or the, the camera in the studio inside of that. So then I needed to communicate uh, with the people on the other side. So you can do that via Skype or Google Hangout or Zoom or there are lots of options. But the problem with that is that the audio sucks. So I needed to find a solution for that. And I think I found one. But there's this plugin that's streaming your uh, music out of your DAW right onto the internet and you can send a link. So uh, that's in short what I needed to do and I thought I'd show you guys the setup and maybe it can help you. So first I use Skype or Google Hangout uh, as my main platform to communicate. And what's the most important for me is that people can see uh, Cubase, the DAW I'm working in. Uh, so in order to do that I needed to screen share this screen uh, and I used a, a program called OBS to do that. Uh, and what you can also do with OBS uh, is add in different cameras. So I also put a camera, uh, a webcam in the room so that people can see the studio, uh, they can see me and they can see uh, the screen I'm working on right here. And I use that as my main camera. So for the webcam, uh, I use my phone with an app called iVCam, which basically turns your phone into a webcam. Uh, so I tied my phone onto a tripod with some tape it's terrible, I know. Uh, so now this is the camera. So when I go back to the screen, uh, well, you can see it's filming, uh, if it focuses, you can see it's filming uh, the room, the whole studio. Uh, so now the audio part. I just use a simple microphone uh, into this interface, uh, which is acting as my microphone for Skype or Google Hangouts. Uh, and then I just have my other interface just for running uh, the music program or DAW, whatever you want to call it. So now there's one more problem and that's that the audio on uh, Skype sucks. So we needed to find a way uh, to get that going. Uh, and I used a plugin called Listen To by Audio Movers. So basically you put that on your master bus um, and then it creates a link and you can go to uh, the web uh, and then it's basically streams everything uh, yeah, to that web page so you can play music here uh, and people everywhere on this planet can listen to it here. So when you work like this you can basically work with anyone on this whole planet wherever they are um, and yeah you can do sessions and give everyone a feeling that they are in the room here with you uh, and yeah you can still work together, you can create music together, you can produce music together, you can mix music together uh, yeah, so this will probably help me out a lot this coming weeks. Uh, and yeah, I thought I'd share it because maybe it will help you too. So thanks for sticking around.